coral reefs are sometimes called the rainforests of the sea. They are biologically rich and diverse. Here in Sri Lanka, coral reefs are under many pressures. Earlier on, uh, we were focusing more on human causes because they were the more prominent degradation factors. And this included things like uh, bad fishery practices, uh, overexploitation, things like dynamiting and uh, tourism development and harbors. But it's not just humans that are exerting pressures. 1998, we had the most severe coral bleaching event in the Indian Ocean. And we probably lost 80% of the corals in the southern coastline in Sri Lanka and Nirtia. That coral bleaching was due to rising sea temperatures and other pressures. But Prasanna and his colleagues didn't just watch the situation in despair. They decided to give nature a helping hand. The Nature Conservation Group is a small environmental organization. For the past few years, they have been engaged in restoring the Rumasala coral reef. Rumasala is just a few kilometers from the southern city of Gaul. Rumasala Reef is a special place because even before 1998, this was the most highly biodiverse coral reef in the southern coastline. And even after the bleaching event, this took on a special importance because most of the corals survived in this reef when they died in other reefs. Restoring a coral reef takes lots of time, effort and patience. First, Prasanna and fellow divers work hard to clear debris and sediment that smothers the living corals. Sometimes they also remove invasive species that can kill off healthy corals. This reduces natural pressures on the reef. Beyond this maintenance, these divers are also replanting corals piece by piece. In 1996, the reef suffered a major storm where a section of the reef was bulldozed down to ground level. And uh, as a sideline uh, activity, the program started experimenting how to restore this part of the reef and reattach corals back onto the degraded substrates. And though this was an experimental thing at the beginning, we, through our mistakes, we learned what basically works in restoration. After the 1998 bleaching event, the group realized they had to do more. It was essential that any attempt at surviving the reefs needed to look at restoration. If a forest is uh, destroyed, you don't wait for it to grow back on its own. You replant it. So we had to look at restoration in a serious way. They systematically study different coral species that make up the reef. Faster growing ones are chosen for replanting. In this underwater nursery, sensitive corals are nurtured until they are ready for replanting. Here replanting is underway. A fast setting cement is used to attach them to the reef. Several thousand coral pieces have been planted at strategic places in the Rumasala reef. That will accelerate the reef's growth and recovery. The Nature Conservation Group recognizes that reef maintenance and support are ongoing tasks. So it is training local youth to continue them. While making modest progress in this reef, the group is aware that pressures are building on other coral reefs. Much more needs to be done to save Sri Lanka's coral reefs. Restoration, if it is going to have an effect, has to be done in a wide scale. And our main target is to spread into other reefs. We hope to form restoration activities on other reefs and uh, give training to the communities on how to carry out these activities and probably get into a situation where we exchange live coral material between the reefs so that you can rebuild the biodiversity of these reefs and uh, give a chance for the corals to survive on the coastline. Mm -hmm.